Serious question. Do you have issues with your battery life? Could be your phone, could be anything. There are certain ways to help you prevent your battery from dying. And we're gonna get into that with one of my favorite devices. Welcome back to the Rebel Tech Channel. I'm Justin, and in this video, we're going to be talking about our power saving options within the Zoom F6 and seeing how it could help you, seeing if you can actually use it, or is it just something that's just a feature that you're going to ignore and never use it ever again after me talking about it. But keep an open mind. I will say this in all my videos, or try to say this in all my videos. Keep an open mind. So let's get into power saving on the Zoom F6. Now, the first thing I'm gonna get into is why do we need power saving options? Well, in general, you need these because there are things in the background that run that don't necessarily need to be running. And there are certain things that run in the background on the Zoom F6 that you can use this and they kind of turn on and off as they are needed. And why you would need this, if you're running for a person, let's take a very vague example. If you're a person that's running four or higher tracks, four microphones, all using phantom power, and it's just running nonstop, you got a full day shoot, or you got multiple days, or whatever it is, chances are if you got a full day shoot, you should have multiple batteries. But regardless, maybe you don't want to change the batteries every, like, I don't know, two or three hours. And you are using a lot of battery. This is for you. This is for those types of people that really work this thing give it its full potential and really just beat the crap out of it because for people that are running one mic even like two labs and a boom like me you're probably not going to utilize this that much but you can still use it because to be honest it doesn't really affect your performance that much unlike uh certain devices where you throw in low power mode or you throw it in a power saving mode and it really takes away some of the performance with your computer sometimes it takes away from your editing and it's slow it's sluggish or whatever it is this on the other hand is not that scenario this basically just takes a little things away but it definitely gives it back when it's needed so now that we talked about power saving and why you would need it and what scenarios you may come into where it could be useful, let's talk about how to set it up. Now this first option is related to the display and all the lights going on. So you're gonna go to menu, go to system, settings, power saving, then options. And in these options you have off, on with the backlight low, and on with the backlight off. Now what this means is basically the backlight can be low, like it dims a little bit, and then you could have it where it is completely off and just lights, just no backlight, just regular, just display. There is also a day mode, just so you know. I usually have it in night mode, but there is a day mode. I think I'm gonna do a YouTube short on that. That would be fun. Now in this menu, you also have options to lower the display screen brightness and your LED light brightness. So that play button and that record button also have a dimmer on it. And I think it says in the manual, it goes from five to a hundred, if it matters to you. So it doesn't go all the way down to zero because they have to have some type of light in there. Now, as I said before, there is a second option for power saving and it's a separate uh, part of the menu and it's a separate uh, part of the functions of the machine let's get into that because i'm trying to get the, my point across and i'm not doing it very well <laughs> so go into the menu then input and then phantom power settings i said that really weird because i'm fancy like that then your power saving options basically means the phantom power will be turned off when playback is happening so if you're going in going back in your recordings and listening to something, the phantom power turns off to your microphones because you're not using it. It's not useful at that moment. Do I really think it makes that much of a difference? Maybe a little bit, but to be honest, if it turns off for just that function and just that time, I really don't think it's making that big of a deal and you're still gonna have the same power situation that you had before. 
And in my own personal experience, I've never had it on. I've never had power saving on both of these. Full disclosure, I do not use it, but I did try to use it. Like I told you before, keep an open mind. I try these things. I try it because it's available and maybe it makes my life a little bit easier. Maybe it's just something that I ignore and in the background it's making things easier. But in my scenario, I don't really use it. I don't need it, but it's there for you to use and maybe this is for someone watching this video that realized, hey, maybe I could use this and give it a try and maybe it's good, maybe it's not so good. Maybe you don't even notice the difference. And that's all I got for you today. That is power saving on the Zoom F6. You got two options for it and it's really cool. It really is a nice option for your power saving needs, whatever it is. Personally, I don't necessarily use it, but for, like I said, the individual or the specific person could be useful to you. So if you liked the video, please hit the like button down below. It'd be greatly appreciated. It helps this video, helps this channel, and really gets it out to more people. That whole YouTube algorithm thing, likes definitely are a good thing for that. And if you're interested in my videos here, my vibe, if you like my vibe around here, please consider subscribing. It'll be greatly appreciated. We are under 100 subs away from getting to 1K, which gets us to the monetization threshold because we blew past the 4K watch time hours. We're just waiting on that 1K subs, which would be really nice to get before my birthday, which is October 25th. Uh, it'd be nice to have that happen. If it doesn't, no big deal. I have a feeling it's gonna happen sometime soon, not to be too uh, cocky or anything. I just, I'm very excited. I want it to happen soon. So it'd be greatly appreciated. And uh, I thank everyone who has subscribed already. And uh, this community is awesome. I really do appreciate it. Speaking of the community and talking, down in the comments, if you have any questions, comments, or anything whatsoever about power saving, anything about the Zoom F6, just leave it down in the comments. All I ask is that you be nice, kind, and all that stuff. The Discord is going to be coming up soon, mid to late October. I will be having it up and you'll see it on the banner on the main YouTube channel page and you could join and same rules apply. Be nice, be kind. And I got to add the rules to that as well. So, uh, they'll be up there. So if you break the rules, I'm going to kick you. I'm going to just boot big, big boot. I got my work boots over there. You're going to get booted if you're not nice. And that's all I got for you until next time. Take care. I'll see you in the next video. I missed that. I don't care. I don't care. She's trying to kill me. She's crazy. Lady, you crazy! Jesus! Don't kill me, lady! Is there any coinage? Oh no, it's just run! Just run, oh my god, the lady tried to kill me!